Yo, y'all, this is Masefi7. Today, I'm going to be playing Who I See. This game was made for the uh, Adventure Jam, I think, for 2018, um, in the span of two weeks, and released in late May. But yesterday, it came out with a full version um, that was extended beyond the Game Jam limit. Uh, oh, shit. Hello. Is that well probably turning off the game interesting all right well anyways um yeah this is a uh, second person adventure game uh instead of first or third person um that i'm assuming what that'll mean is that the main character will be uh, described and you'll sort of play through the perspective of everybody except the main character and you'll see their perspectives on it, which I'm assuming is why it's called Who I See, but we shall see. Ah, that's still up there. Click around to move her. Click on objects and people to make things happen. Right click on them to look at them. Move your mouse to the top of the screen to see your items. Click on them and click on the people to make more things happen. Click here to let her in. Without warning, the door opens and I'm confronted with, un with an unnerving thing. Even from here, I can see it. What is it? A tall, gangly, pointed figure. Before I can think further, it comes towards me. Whoa. That 2002 walk cycle. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, welcome to the lovely estate. Here we will assure that you have a lovely East Day. grin on her face, features shrouded in black hair like some ghoul, and, I think, a giggle. The mass of these features stands before me like a nightmare, and I put all my effort into maintaining my polite smile. What little I see of her eyes pierces mine. I would think it to be a prank, but the way the light shines in her eyes, I've seen it in people who pick fights, who trash their rooms, who set things on fire and just stare. I keep smiling, but her expression doesn't change. May I have your name, ma'am? Carla. <laughs> is that with all those A's, or? Carla, it is. How long? She says, placing a finger on the glass near where my lips were. I flinched like she was going to go through it. At that, her face changes, the corners of her mouth tilting ever more upward as, low, uh, as a low giggle trembles. Sorry, tumbles from her mouth. Is she drunk? Shush, little toothpick. I just need the key for Isaac's room, okay? Uh, uh, oh, oh, did Isaac send you? Yes, a half-truth or no. Yeah. In a way, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be talking right now. Is he okay? He left so suddenly. Where is he now? <laughs> Random walk cycle? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Do you have any proof that he sent you? No. There is a pause after that. I blink, look left, I look right as if someone else was going to come in and explain, but no, it's just her standing there, grinning. Oh, God, it's too quiet. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I can't give you that key. Are you sure? Uh, yes. Really sure? Yes. She leans towards me, dragging a finger along the glass as she does so. And I suppose I can't just break through this little box you're in. At that, my body tenses, but only for a moment. The glass is bulletproof, impenetrable, meant exactly to protect from thieves, ruffians, or freaks like her. No, you can't. Ma'am, I highly doubt that someone you, uh, like you is associated with Isaac. Please leave. Oh, sorry, toothpick, but no. How about this, though? I find a way to convince you that I need to go into Isaac's room. What on earth is happening? I, well, besides, the storm outside is so terrible. Surely you wouldn't throw me out into the dark. I just realized that the painting to the right of the uh, to the right of them is uh, elation, the like default Windows XP background. The lady looks like she came from the dark. She's spouting nonsense, but. Well, I'm safe in this box. She can't hurt me. So far as I care, she can do whatever nonsense she wants. 
Surely she can't do any real damage to anything, right? God, she's still grinning. You can stay, but I find it unlikely I'll give you this key. Ah, I love a challenge. Why must I, uh... Thrown be into? I'm gonna assume that they might be thrown. Why must I be thrown into such a strange situation without explanation? Hopefully she'll just leave. So, what do you know about Isaac? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh, I, uh, I don't know anything. Anything at all. But you mentioned something about asking if he was okay. Oh, well, that was just me worrying about my tenants. He ran off, though. Checking his room won't really lead to much. I'll be the judge of that. Listen, I refuse to say anything else about one of my tenants. You are just a stranger, and it's not like he can really threaten me. Want to try and get past this glass? You can try, ma'am. I don't think I can, but I'm sure there's other ways to get to you. The hell? <laughs> I like this a lot. This is, this is cool. Um, nah, not yet. Whoa, who are you? You look awesome. She waves at me and I can see a, a knife hidden away. Wow, she must be like one of those heroes from an action movie. Hey, what's your name? It's Carla, and what might yours be? Alice, nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, that's way cooler of a greeting. <laughs> hmm. All right. What do you know about Isaac? Isaac? Does she know? Uh, he stays in this room here. He's really nice. Sometimes he buys everyone donuts. Uh -huh. Yeah, and he talks with me a lot, and he gave me this ball. And he got this big cake for everyone on his birthday, and he lets me see cool movies, and shh. Do you know where he is? Would you happen to know where he went off to? I can feel myself frowning. I know I'm supposed to keep smiling, that's the nice thing to do, but... No. Huh? Say that again. I don't... I don't know. You don't. Are you sure? I... I... Just keep smiling. It's going to be okay. Well... No, I don't know where he is. She stops talking and everything's quiet. I hate this, please, no more quiet. Alrighty then. So, did Isaac happen to say anything about little old me? I don't think so. Wait. No. Huh? Jonasy. I mean, Jonas. Jonas said Carla. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Really? Yes. Yes. You should go in and uh, interrogate him. You're sure of this? When did he say it? Uh, I don't remember, but I heard him. I promise. So go beat him up. And suddenly she's laughing. It's a really weird laugh. It sounds really high, but sometimes really low, and her whole body shakes. It sounds odd, but Isaac said that odd is just another word for neat. I laugh a little too, although I don't really know why. Eventually we stop. So, kid. Alice. <sighs> Alice, when did you last see our pal Isaac? Just yesterday. Really? Peter was asking if he was okay. Yeah, it's because he uh, left really quickly. Yeah. Yeah, and he... No. Isaac said... Huh? Or, huh? Uh, no, it was nothing. Sorry. But she's a nice person, right? Can I trust her? The phone next to Peter rings below, making me jump a little. That phone. Are you okay? Yes. I'll see you later, Alice. Okay. Jonas and Carla. All right, it's true, I promise. Okay, I guess we'll go ask Peter about Jonas and Carla. Oh, she is clipping up the wall slightly. God damn, she's tall. <laughs> oh no, I see the sprite just doesn't shrink when she goes into the background in this frame. She jiggles off the doorknob a bit, but nope, she even tries to ram it. I'd be afraid of Jones, uh, if Jonesy yelling at me for that. Carla is so cool. <laughs> 
she. Huh. She wipes off some dirt and mud from her clothes. Where did it all come from? Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. This is pretty fucking cool. All right, well, let's talk to him about Jonas and Carla. Hey, Toothpick. I heard that Jonas has mentioned me before. Do you want anything about that? What? Oh, God, is she after Jonas? I'm not surprised that man has made enemies, but why does this motel have to deal with all of that? No, I really don't. Sorry. Well, at least they can't hurt me. Yeah, they can't get through. Uh, they can't get through to me, so it doesn't really matter. I'm safe. Screw everyone else. Oh, that's a that's a smart mentality. Dumbass. <laughs> Happy birthday! This dude's been at a birthday party for far too long. Oh, it's Jonas. That works. Get out of here. What do you know about Isaac? What the fuck? I look over her again and again and again. Who is this? She got, uh, she got a weapon? Why'd she smile when I asked that? She's looking right at me. Arrogan. He's a resident of this motel. I've seen glances of him, not much else. You sure? Yeah. She looks disappointed. Is that a sneer? She hasn't broken eye contact and she's still just standing there. I chew my cigar a bit. We're just staring at each other. And she screams. Boo! Fuck. I'm getting bothered by another child. I'm getting bothered by another child. I stare at her, unmoving, implacable, like the model of an adult and not whatever she is. I keep my mouth shut. I ain't playing this Bratz games. <laughs> it takes something real tough and hard to break my composure and getting me talking. Oh, well, I've got that. I heard that you've been mentioning my name these past few days. Have I been dancing around in your dreams? What the hell? I raise an eyebrow as I wonder if this creep is on drugs or something. I wouldn't be surprised. She constantly looks like, looks like she's about to fall over, and everything about her is a mess. It must be off your rocker. Are you sure you haven't been saying my name, Carla? Oh my god, this is Carla? Are you kidding me? Isaac, you idiot. She looks like a twig on crack. She... <laughs> okay. She couldn't threaten the uh, scariest of cats. I can see the name rings off a bell with you after all. Let's talk. No. I said, let's talk. Please. I'm a man of discipline. Calmness. Composure. So if I say no, I mean it. So piss off. Hmm. Okay. Peter. She looks at me through the tank, baring her teeth like a hungry animal. I know I'm safe here, but... Oh, God, she's touching the glass again, dragging her fingers across it. Oh, God, please back away. Jeez. Uh, no. That's all the same. Well, let's fuck with this guy a little bit. Let's see. <laughs> Carla just pulls out a knife like it's nothing and starts looking at it, spinning it, throwing it, and catching it, staring at me the whole time. Is that supposed to scare me? I'm not so easily frightened. I sure wish I actually had bullets for my gun. <laughs> No, not in this room. She mutters something, but I miss it. Oh well. Get out of here. Hmm. Well, we didn't really learn anything new here. Old birthday banner. Hey, how is it, Big B Day? What are you now? Twelve? Maybe thirteen. Piss off. It wasn't mine, it was for this other guy called Isaac. Isaac? His birthday was a week ago. Yeah, but it ain't like Peter's gonna come out of that box to clean any of this mess, and... Uh, how well do you know... Uh, how well do you know him? We were intimate half-truth, or I didn't know him half-truth. Oh, I didn't know him. I guess I never really knew him. 
I don't really know what that vagueness means. And, unvaguely, I don't really care. Anyways, yeah, his birthday last week, and the trash still layeth before us. Peter never leaves that safe box. Never. Yeah, now he just freaks out at the stuff he sees, but he don't do nothing about it. The party did make this one brat real happy, but, uh, because of it, she wouldn't stop talking. Just do things she likes and, uh, she trusts you. <laughs> Remember thinking like that? Like a kid? Won't be long until that hurts her, I bet. I can't help but smirk at the thought. Blunt as my comment was, just reminded me of older times, but this gal... She just has this flat look on her face. Whatever. Those donuts are probably a week old as well. Hey, don't touch those. She casually turns at me and I get a good look at her. Skinny, pitifully so, hair entangled and full of specks, walks with a weird stumble, funny smile, the kind I've seen on my customers. Huh. Those are mine. Didn't buy them from Miss Stranger off the street, so back up. Her lip twitches. A frown? A smirk? Kinda hard to tell, but her voice is mockingly nice. You gonna stop me? I have a gun. She bursts out laughing. It's harsh and high-pitched sound, like blades against a rock, and it's getting on my nerves. Look at you, so powerful, so scary, oh, so menacing and manly. Are you asking to be shot? Are you asking to be laughed at? You won't kill me over a donut. You sure? Don't have any great thing to guard, you know. It's the principle of it. So, buzz off. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty cool character. I, I like her a lot. Let's see. Nothing else to do in here, I don't think. Alright, I don't think I interacted with any of the objects in... Uh, I don't know if I can interact with any objects here. Oh, the phone. I'm curious. What's stopping you from calling the police to get me? Well, I... Look, that's none of your business. You should be grateful I'm not calling them. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see if we can interact with anything else in Alice's room. The ball. Hey, that's mine. Carla bounces the ball and hits the floor. Hits it to the floor with a loud thud. She actually jumps a little, surprise all over her face. <laughs> she looks at my smiles, and she smiles too. This is pretty hard. Heavy too. Yeah, people get angry when I play with it, but it's so fun. <sighs> Carla bounces the ball up and down. She laughs. A weird kind of laugh, but a laugh is a laugh. I'm gonna borrow this. Bounce. Thud. What? Why? Bounce. Thud. I'm bored. I'll give it back to you later. Really? Sure. Bounce, bounce, thud, thud. All right. Oh, the phone. Well, well. Hey, Alice, isn't it weird that Peter hasn't called the cops on me? Why would he do that? Oh, you know, he doesn't like me. me uh, he might think I'm scary. What? You're not scary. You're cool. Yeah, I know. But if Petey doesn't like Carla and if, is afraid of Carla, maybe I should be too? She's a nice person, right? Maybe I should wait and see, like Petey. If she's a nice person, then I should tell her, but... I, uh... I, uh... Definitely don't know anything about the phone. <sighs> well, then we're off. I really like the... Kind of... Way this game is built. Like, it's... It's like somebody... It's like an indie game from 2000 or something. <laughs> Thud, 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 thud. Please stop. No. She continues to bounce the ball off my box again and again. I feel like a fish in a tank with a kid tapping on the glass. But it's worth it. I'm safe here. Safe. No reason to ever leave. Thud, 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 thud. Hey, do you know why Peter won't call the police? What? Why does she care? Kinda weird, huh? What do you think of it? I say it's none of your... Ugh. Excuse me. I say it's none of your business. <sighs> hey, 
like Jonas. Huh? My nose... <laughs> my nose crunches under the ball. What kind of ball is this that's so heavy that I can fucking... Break a nose? Is this a bowling ball? You can't bounce a bowling ball. I actually don't know if you can't bounce a bowling ball. I've never tried. Uh, maybe you could if you use it on, like, um... Concrete or something. My nose crunches under the ball. Blood pours into my mouth and I cough on it. It's only an instant, but the pain is much longer. Pain. For absolutely no reason other than to give someone a laugh. The lady just keeps staring at me with that stupid, condescending smile on her face. To hell with you, brat. You think you could just mess with me? You're some uppity trash from the streets. I bet you were never any good at anything. I bet you grew up just throwing away your adult stuff like respect so you could have your worthless fun. You think you're, you have the right to bother me? Isaac was right in dumping you on the street. You're no better than trash. Ooh, looks like you just said the wrong fucking words. Shit. My fingers switch reflexively to my gun as if this gal's gonna rush me or something. She can barely stand, let alone attack, but... God, she's just smiling and smiling and smiling. She's mocking me. She's gotta be. She can see the fear in my eyes. Well, say something. Say anything. I bet she's laughing on the inside. That's what it is. She's mocking me like everyone else. I just know it. If you're not going to play, can I have my ball back? I throw it at her. It's a bad throw. I was never any good at that sort of thing when she catches it. She looks at me and just smiles. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god, his smoke is going crazy. <laughs> I'm assuming that's smoke from his cigar. Let's talk. Get out of here. Oh, well. <laughs> if you expect me to spill everything I know about Isaac, prepare to be disappointed. Well, I'm not unreasonable. Let's just you and I talk about why you've been mentioning my name. Uh, let's see. So, Carla, sure has a beautiful name. How do you know it? Listen, Isaac told me. What happened to you was an accident. She leans in and I lean back. She's grinning or baring all of her teeth. It was an accident, right? I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> no. She leans in even closer, only a bit away from my face and I can feel her rank breath. I now see that her hair is matted with mud as it drapes over me. Her eyes look desperate. That's not happiness, it's depression, it's misery. It's the same look that Isaac, uh, uh, that Isaac after. It was not an accident. How are you and Isaac linked? We're a business partners. I see. Do you know where he is now? He ran off. We'll get nothing from this motel. May as well leave now. Ah, I don't believe you. Anyway, what kind of business? What? You know the answer to that. Say it. No. Fuck you. You're nothing. I expect her to keep pushing, to run off uh, in frustration, but instead she just looks satisfied? Uh, no, that's the same. Uh, well, could use the ball again. She laughs to herself about something. Don't know what she has to laugh about. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not the, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's different. Oh, bloody ball. Yeah, let's do that instead. Hey, Peter. Oh, God, not this again. What? You like playing ball? Mm. She pulls out Alice's bar and st ball and starts bouncing. Thud, 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 it goes, that damn thing. It's nice that Alex likes it, but... I know you care little for what I have to say at this point, but please cease. To my surprise, she stops. She just gives me another one of her creepy smiles. Ugh, rambunctious pest. Wait, what's that red stain on the carpet? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll give this back to Alice. I don't have a whole lot of need for it anymore. I wish I could go wash it off. I mean, it's kind of, kind of fucking gross. Hey, Alice, here. Huh? 
she tosses the ball and I it's it's the fl ball hits the floor with a fun bounce bounce it leaves a tiny red mark on the floor each time is is this Jonesy's blood yes you wanted me to beat him up right is she is she actually a hero from the action movies thank you thank you thank you thank you that jerk really really deserved it yes he did Wow, Isaac sure is lucky to have a friend like you. Friend? Yeah, I mean, you're trying to get into this room, right? Trying to see him as hard as you can? Yeah. Carlos smiles a big, happy smile. He sure is lucky. The phone rings from downstairs. Carla looks towards the door, then back at me. A big old happy smile still on her face. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm... Oh. No, that's the same. Well, the phone rings, so he might have some different dialogue. No. Phone, maybe? You sure you don't want to call the police? Uh, what is wrong with you? Are you... Cr <laughs> ha! She slams into the glass. His... Uh... <laughs> Hands and face pressed against it. Her hair is parted and her eyes wide open, eyes tinged red looking at me like an ant uh, to be crushed, staring to me. Shh. Yes, ma'am. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the laugh of a serial killer. High and low, and I say distorted, maniacal, malicious. I have to call the... I... I can't. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay. Hmm. Well. The only thing I haven't tried is the knife, so. She taps on the glass with a knife. Ha! <laughs> As if that could harm me. At one point, the knife uh, slips and cuts her finger. For a moment, I thought uh, it cut off the whole thing, and I gasped. Someone losing a finger in my motel would have been a huge problem. She smiles at my reaction. Oh, shivers down my spine. Carla pulls out the knife. Uh, a knife, oh my god. She flips it between her fingers. Why would she do that? She could cut off one of the... Oh my god, she threw it in the air. Oh my god, her head, a head. What if the knife hits her head? The head, what if she gets stabbed? What if she dies in this lovely estate and ruins its reputation? The knife stops between two fingers. Carla bows and I realize it was, a, I was scared silent the whole time. I do like the expression on your face. Time for an encore. I feel a bit dizzy, but that should be fine. No, 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 stop. What do you want? The key to Isaac's room. I, I, I can't. I cannot, please, just... Mm, okay, how about something smaller? Let's talk about Isaac. I, yes, he, uh... He's a wonderful tenant who, uh... Don't waste my time. Uh, of course not. Okay, okay, he... I know he's involved in suspicious activity. I don't know the details, but I've seen him invite all manner of suspicious types into, the, into his room. I've seen him in exchange briefcases, and once a case fell open and revealed cold, hard cash... Isaac, he told me never to tell anyone. He swore it wasn't anything too bad, but even a mere rumor could hurt this place. Oh God, what am I doing? Where am I saying? How did I get here? Screw you, Isaac, and screw you, Carla. Well, at the very least, this doesn't incriminate me. So Isaac, uh, so Isaac met with people I found to look suspicious? Meaningless. As you can see, I don't know very much about him at all. And yet she looks satisfied? Thank you for speaking. Hmm. Yeah, that's not anything different. Um, then I guess maybe I can ask him more about Isaac. So, Isaac, tell me more. Fingers twitch around her knife, and a, and a scratchy giggles fall from her, 
ugh, falls from her mouth. I, I, I've already told you what I know. Please stop. <laughs> Just playing with you. Thank you for speaking. You know, you can't force me to give you the key. I'm safe in here. That noise is even hard. Uh, is it even a giggle or just something resembling that? A disgusting imitation of a lovely noise is heard again. You'd be surprised. I don't need to touch you to get to you. All it would take for me is to say the right word to you, but what will it be? Like I said, I like a challenge. The right word? <laughs> She's bluffing. I'm perfectly safe from thugs like her. She can't do anything. To me, she can't do anything at all. God, she just keeps smiling, this knowing, mocking smile at me. Uh, that's the same. All right, then, I guess we're off. I haven't used the knife uh, on Alice either. Uh, maybe she'll do another show. Suddenly, knife. Carla just pulls it out and starts looking at it, spinning it, throwing it, and catching it. It is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> no, not in this room. She mutters something, but I miss it. Oh well. Yeah, same deal. Uh, can you tell me more about Isaac? Hey, so, Isaac, any information you, have, uh, you may have forgotten? Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> Don't think you can keep quiet from me for so long. <laughs> try me. I mean, not that there's anything to try about. Sure, kid. I wish you would stop asking me. I feel all twisted up inside, but she seems nice. I want to tell her, but I hear Peter's phone ring. Oh, stop it, phone. I need to think. Yeah, that's just the same thing again. Okay, then I guess Jonas and Carla. It's true, I promise. Oh, no, that's the same. And then the phone. So, how about the phone? I think about the bloody ball, and I think about Jonas, and I think about Carla. Yeah, she's a nice person. Okay, I can tell you the great mysterious secret about the phone. Great and mysterious, huh? Seems like it. Once I saw Peter on the phone and Jonas showed up and started screaming at him. Is my... Sorry, I thought that my microphone might have unplugged, which would have been horrible. Once I saw Peter on the phone and Jonas showed up and started screaming at him. Jonas kept telling him not to talk about the police, and they kept talking about having illegal substances. I pronounced that right, right? Absolutely. Carla smiles, but it's so tired. She looks like she's about to fall asleep at any second. It looks like it hurts her to smile, but it's also like she's relaxed. Alice. Huh? Thanks. Uh, thank you, too, I guess. I hope Carla does whatever it is she's trying to do. Me too. <laughs> I wish that there were different soundtracks, because this is getting repetitive. It's not a bad song, it's just... I've listened to it like five times now. <laughs> uh, that's that's all the same. Alright, illegal. Well, let's do phone. Nope. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Peter. Oh my god! She comes and presses herself up against the glass. She takes the whole front side, blotting it out from the, uh, some of the light. Her shadowed uh, form looms over me, and I i feel like I'm going to be eaten by a snake. A snake with a long, extended smile, but uh, and underneath her hair, eyes that show the most intense joy. God help me. I have something I really want to show you. What? She puts a hand into her jacket. She just pulls out a tape recorder. Oh my god. You... When did you... I made sure to keep it hidden when none of you could see. I... Without warning, she presses the play button. I listen to everything. My own voice talking about some suspicious men. Jonas talking about the business. Alice talking about illegal substances. And all of them talking about Isaac. Alone, each piece is just a random it's just random information. Words that can be disputed, twisted, ignored. But now, all put together, 
You know, I'm sure the police would love to hear why you didn't report the crime that you knew was happening here. Wait, no, no, you don't understand. Please, please, the lovely estate is everything to me. Sorry, one sec. All right. Mm, I don't know. Because of your uh, inaction, people were hurt. Things get out of control. Someone nearly died. I don't... I have no idea what you're talking about. Really? Oh, I know, Toothpick, I know. Give me the key, and you can have the recorder. Please, I don't know. I don't know why this is happening to me. I don't know who she is or why she's doing it. I don't know what Jonas or Isaac said beyond the drugs. I don't know, I don't know. Isaac had been in his room the whole time. He told us that if anyone was looking for him, to tell them he wasn't there, that he ran off. He was so terrified, I didn't even, it's, I don't even like, wait, what? He was so terrified, I don't even like him, and it hurt to see. I don't know what's happening. Don't worry, I do. My shaky, my shaky hands uh, opens a compartment and slides the key into it. Carla takes it from the other side and puts the tape recorder. I take it. I managed to hurt you from the outside that, uh, from outside that box after all. I do so love a challenge. See, Peter. Oh, and by the way, I certainly had a lovely Easter. <laughs> she laughs and laughs. She practically skips her way down the hall, grinning all the while, like a flame burning down a house, with the resident only able to wonder why. And I'm assuming Isaac's room is... Wait, 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 wait. I have the key, I have the key, I have the key. And I really want to fuck with him more. <laughs> nah, that's the same. Uh, his expression is stuck like that. Nothing. What? Alright. Well, I want to see if the key... I can interact with the key with anybody else. I see Carla hesitate near the door to Jonas, but she only giggles and continues down the hall. Alright. I gotta say, this blue void on the left in that room is just sort of weird. Nope, nothing. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can't. She drills the doorknob of it. Oh, wait. Oh, we did that already. Carla. Isaac. I have so much to say. Shh. story is over. Carla, I can explain everything. I can tell you why it all happened. Uh, I don't really care about all that. There is me and you in this moment. Nothing else, nothing in this room matters to me. There is only us. And soon that will change. Goodbye, Isaac. <laughs> Start talking about the phone. Come on. Oh my god. Time to finish this. I'm just looking around to see if there's maybe, perhaps, something hidden away. Oh well. <laughs> Goodbye, Carla. Okay. Well, um, the game froze like this. And it's like, minim in that, like, borderless minimized thing that like even the mouse goes under but uh huh and it's got a lot of bandages on him well probably lots of drugs <laughs> uh that's all i can imagine well i liked that a lot like uh, i've never seen any kind of like second person game before that was really cool I uh, I wonder what the difference is between this being the full version and the um, Adventure Jam or Game Jam, whatever it was. The uh, the Game Jam w version is like the two-week version and this full version. Because like, I don't know. It was, uh, I really liked um, Carla. She was quite an interesting character. Um... 
but I do also really wonder, you know, what the motive was for all that. But she made a very, very cool protagonist slash antagonist. Um... Yeah, I liked the, the, the drawings and the animations were pretty basic, but like, as far as the graphics went, it was nostalgic and I, I, I liked the, uh, the fact that it was all drawn out. Like, that, that looks pretty cool. Um, I think you could have done maybe something else with the isometricness of the uh, hotel room, uh, the, like the hall leading up to Peter, um, because there was just that blue void. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But I liked that a lot. That was a lot of fun. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to join the Coros Rebellion. If you have any suggestions for games for me to play, or ways to make my commentating more enjoyable, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I will put the link to the uh, the link to this game in the description if you want to check out this version for whatever reason or the original version for yourself and if I forget then just search up who I see and there should be a link to the game jolt page um, but yeah uh, that's about it see ya